All right, everyone, season 13, we got about a week to go. And every season, I'm getting asked, Dado, how do I prepare for the next season? Bounties, materials, what are we doing? So let's quickly go over some stuff to do before the next season starts. Number one, Crucible Tokens. They are going bye-bye in Season 13. They will be completely removed from the game as a result of the new Seasonal Challenges system that is coming. Therefore, you need to ask yourself, is it worth my time to spend thousands of tokens at Shacks getting item after item to dismantle into Legendary Shards? If the answer is yes, then you should really get to spending. If the answer is no, then you'll be able to delete all of your tokens at once as soon as Season 13 rolls around. I suspect if the Vanguard ever get the system, the same thing will happen. But as of now, you can continue to just hold those Vanguard tokens. But Crucible tokens, figure out a plan. Also, current Stasis Fragment quests will be deprecated at the end of Season 12. You should finish and turn in all Fragment quests before the start of Season 13. I'm just going to quote Bungie Helps Twitter on this one. Unused memory fragments, which are used to purchase stasis fragments, will be removed at the end of Season of the Hunt, aka Season 12. Players do not need to complete additional stasis fragment quests after acquiring all available stasis fragments. Next up, we got materials. The following planetary materials will no longer be accepted at vendors in Season 13. Alkane Dust from Titan, Face Glass Needle from Io, Seraphite from Mars, and Simulation Seeds from Mercury. If you have a lot of these materials, I highly suggest trying to turn them into literally anything else. Upgrade modules, glimmer, whatever, because when Season 13 hits, the only thing you're going to be able to do with them is turn them into the spider, who will give you a small amount of glimmer for them, and that's it. Next up, the Season Pass. If you're like me and just don't take out the exotics for whatever reason or other items, well, it's time to take out those exotics or the other items. It's time to take out the Glimmer, the Materials, the Shaders. Hop on all three of your characters. Make sure you've taken all of the armor ornaments as well. Then log into your Bungie account and make sure you've grabbed everything from the previous season as well, Season 11, aka Season of Arrivals, because as soon as Season 13 hits, Season 11's Season Pass is gone from the website and you cannot access anything from it. Next up, Infusion. Stop. Stop doing it. Don't bother. The cap is increasing next week and unless you are going to infuse to get some sort of a triumph or you need a few more levels to do something to get you a triumph there is no point in wasting materials to get something to 1260 anymore i would also save stuff like your spoils of conquest from the raid as well don't spend any this week because in season 13 the infusion cap will max out one season later than this season's loot it is worth holding onto said spoils for a week to get armor that's going to last you another three months as opposed to getting stuff right now and having it expire sooner. Finally, bounties. Everyone's favorite. Bounties, bounties, bounties. Specifically saving bounties. You know, one of these days Bungie is just going to wipe every bounty from player inventories as we go from season to season. Maybe one day. Hopefully one day. For Season 13, we're getting closer to that dream, but not for the exact reason that I was hoping for. Weekly bounties from Zavala, Shax, Drifter, and Banshee, aka Strikes, Crucible, Gambit, and the Gunsmith, are being removed from the game upon the start of Season 13 to make way for seasonal challenges, regardless if they are completed or not. If you have these weekly bounties sitting in your inventory, just cash them in, because as soon as Season 13 hits, they're gone. Season 12 bounties from the Crow will also be removed. I do not know if other weekly bounties will stay in your inventory, stuff like Iron Banner, Varix, Eris, etc. But I don't suspect Bungie will remove them as they haven't said that they would, but that is your risk to take. I don't imagine daily bounties are getting wiped, so if you want to hold some of those for experience, be my guest. I would just make sure that if you do save dailies for the 8 bounty challenge powerful that you only turn in seven when season 13 hits and make the eighth bounty from season 13 to hopefully not mess up your powerful reward. 
Also, make sure you play the activity of the bounty you're turning in at least once before popping all of your bounties because it can mess with your powerful reward from the eight bounties as well. Man, I really hate explaining all these little intricate, dumb rules. Sometimes they don't even work. Please, Bungie, just wipe all bounties from season to season. All of them, every single one, unless they're related to a exotic quest or something like that. But otherwise, just get rid of these. Ugh. And as a little reminder, season nine weaponry and loot and all that is getting sunset. That's your perfect paradox shotguns, your breech light sidearms, your steel feather repeater auto rifles, that line in the sand linear fusion that you farmed a whole bunch and you never use that. All of that is getting sunset as we go to season 13. I'll have some closing thoughts on season 12 later in the week. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. See you next time.